Okay, this algorithm is on topological sort. It is, you know, that's graph theory. It is what's called using DAG, which is directed acyclic graph. It's mainly used for scheduling the sequence of job events, job dependencies. And it's also used in the college schools for prerequisite. For instance, you can take uh, finite math if you haven't taken algebra, algebra, you know. Okay, it's in event scheduling, assembly line. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with node H. Well, node H says I can, so for instance, I have this course, I can take this course, or I can take this course. So let's say we decided to take node J. When I take node J, I'm gonna put it into the stack. Node J can go into, the only choice I have, I can take either this course or that course. So if I take M, okay? So if I go to node M, I'm gonna put M into the stack. Well, M, I can't go further than that. So I'm gonna pop M, I'm gonna put it in my ordering, that's M. Now, I'm back at J, I'm back at J. So only choice is go to node L. So if I go to node L, um, I'm here, but there is no other way Node L doesn't take anywhere, so I'm gonna pop node L from the stack and I'm gonna put it as part of the ordering. So now I'm back to node J. Um, I have no other choice, so node J can't take me anywhere else. So I'm gonna pop node J since I can't go anywhere from node J. That goes into my link. Now, that puts me back into node H. So I'm at H here, so I'm gonna write that down here. This is node H. Okay, so this is node H. So my choice from node H is going to node I. I have no other choice, so I go to node I, which is, I'm gonna include that. So I'm gonna do node I. Well, I doesn't take me anywhere, so I'm gonna pop I, and that goes into my ordering. That puts me back into H. Well, H cannot take me anywhere else because we've already visited J. We've already taken this course. We've already taken this course, so I'm back at H. So I'm gonna pop H out. So H is gone, see? Now, now I'm done with this, with this part. So I can start with, um, for instance, I can pick one here. I can start with E. My goal is to include all of this. So if I start with E, let me see if I can erase this one. Uh, okay, that was, okay. So I'm gonna de delete this one. So in this case, I start with E. Now look at my algorithm here. So when I start with node E, that can take me to node F. So I'm gonna put node F here. This is F. Well, F have two choices. I can go to J, well, J is already gone. I can't go to J. I can go to K, so I go to node K. Now, when I'm at K, the only choice I have from K, I go to J, but we've already taken that course, we've already visited that, so I'm gonna pop K, K is gone. That puts me back into node F. I have no other choices. So I'm gonna take F, because F doesn't take me anywhere else. And that puts me back into E. Well, from E, I can go to node A. So I can, as long as it's not in the list. So that puts me into node A. From node A, my only choice is to go to node D. So I'm in node D. When I'm in E, I have a choice to go to H, but this has already been visited. So I have to go to node G. So I go to node G. Hope G, G is not there. So now from G, it takes me to I. You've already visited I. So I'm gonna pop G off. Take G. So now that puts me back into D. Well, where does D take me to? H, we've already visited H. We've already visited G. Think of it as courses. You've already taken those. So I'm gonna pop D out. When I pop D out, that puts me back into A. I have no other choices. So I have already gone to D, 
So A is my only choice, so I'm going to put A here. From A, that takes me back into E. Well, with E, my only choice is to visit D. So, I've already visited D. So, I'm just going to put E there. So basically, this is where we are now. The only one I see that we left out is, uh, is actually C. So I'm going to start here with node C. And C only takes me to B. So C takes me to node B. Now, B takes me to D, but D, we've already, we've already taken that course, we've already visited this node. So I'm going to pop B out. When I pop, that puts me back into C. C has no other choice. I'm done. So this is the topological ordering. This could be the list of forces that you can, you can take in the course. And again, it's using depth first search, you know, across. And it's recursive. So recursive means that, you know, we keep calling and then using a stack. So this is what is known as the topological sorting. It uses, and that's my topological order. Thank you.